last week I posted a video about the journey of Android so far. As we all know, Android is developed by Google. But do you know there is another operating system that is developed by Google? Yes, Android has a sister and her name is Chrome OS. In this video, I am going to talk about what is Chrome OS and if you should use it or not. But before going into the video, I just want you guys to subscribe to my channel. And please press that bell icon since I post amazing videos every week. So, since you have done all that, let's talk about it, shall we? In July 2009, Google announced a project. They wanted to create an operating system that does almost all the works in the cloud so that it doesn't have to rely completely on the hardware. It was an impressive concept to say the least. On 15 June 2011, Google released Chrome OS, an operating system that runs on your laptop or desktop. It is an alternative to Microsoft's Windows, Apple's Mac OS or Linux distros like Ubuntu. Just like Android, it was based on Linux kernel. Ok guys, I'm not going to explain what is Linux kernel because it would make this video extremely complicated. If you really want to know what is Linux kernel then let me know in the comment section and uh, I may talk about it in a future video. Just like Android and other Linux based operating system, Chrome OS is an open source operating system. That means it's completely free unlike Windows. There were high expectations from Chrome OS but when it released people were not happy from the end product. The biggest criticism was that it's just a glorified Chrome browser. And to be honest, they are not wrong. The entire user interface was taken from Chrome. Most of the softwares were just web based applications. And in terms of functionality, the OS was very limited. Since most of the apps were web based, you need an active internet connection all the time to do most of your work. That means if you don't have an internet connection, your Chromebook was almost useless. But in 2014, something interesting happened. Chrome OS got native support for Play Store, which means now you can run those millions of Android apps on your Chromebook. And because of this, Chromebooks became much more useful than they were. Now you can use your Chromebook even when you have no internet connection. Initially, the support for Android apps was not perfect since it doesn't run those applications natively in the OS. In order to run those applications, it uses an Android emulator and install those applications there. But day by day, this feature is improving. But Chrome OS isn't just limited to web apps and Android apps. You can also install any Linux based software on Chrome OS like GIMP, one of the best image editing software that also happens to be free. Chrome OS isn't a completely alien operating system. It's actually quite famous among students in US. But I don't think many people in India know about this operating system because they are more comfortable in Windows. So the question is, should you buy a Chromebook? And uh, my answer is, it depends on you. If you are an user who does lots of power hungry works on your computer like gaming, programming, editing videos and other stuff, then don't buy a Chromebook. That will be a terrible idea, probably one of the worst ideas in your life. But if you are not a power user and you mostly use your laptop to surf the web, check your social media accounts, watch videos online and all that stuff, then Chrome OS is actually a better alternative to Windows and Mac OS. I personally know some people who turn on their PC only to get into their favorite browser. It can be Chrome, it can be Firefox or Opera or anything else. They don't care about all the other softwares they have on their PC. All they want is a good browser. If you belong to this category, then Chrome OS is a very good option for you. Plus Chromebooks are pretty cheap because Chrome OS doesn't require a very powerful hardware. If you have a very tight budget, then consider buying a Chromebook. 
I believe buying a cheap Chromebook is 2000 times better than buying a cheap Windows PC. But uh, there are also drawbacks. Chrome OS is definitely not as powerful as Windows or Mac OS. And you need to remember this. So sit down and ask yourself how you primarily use your PC. Then decide if Chrome OS is perfect for you or not. Thanks guys for watching this video. Feel free to like this video and share it with someone who is thinking about buying a PC. It's me, Tech Inspector, signing out and I will see you on every Thursday, every week.